Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with P. Nettie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you missed my swag from Go Wild, check out that video in the description below. But one of the things we got was from Plum Paper. And this is a Plum Paper Planner Layout Guide. So this guidebook kind of runs through all the planner layouts that they offer. And they even include a planner personalization guide that helps you figure out which planner would be best for you. And I thought it would be fun to look and see if I could fit everything that I like to plan in my four planner and two extension pack Frankum planner, if I could fit it on one of these layouts in the um, plum paper planner. So I'm going to check these out. I'm going to mark quickly the things that I do like to track that they suggest on the list here. Um, things like priorities, workout, chores, water, um, sleep tracker, shopping list, priorities, I already said that one, schedule, brain dump, things like that. So there's my list. But then I also went to my Frankum planner to see what kind of things I like to track. So let me grab a piece just of the note paper here in the back. And I'm just gonna write down everything that I know I like to track in my Franken planner. So I have an everyday planner that I figure you can record birthdays, um, events, errands, chores, and then my work planner, there's things I need to track and my fitness planner probably has the most next to my social media planner as far as things that I want to track in there and keep track of each day or each week at least. So there's the things I want to track. And then I'm just going to put a little sticky there. Now I flip back to the first layout. Let's take a look. Ah, let's add my name to the front of the guide. <laughs> and we have our regular monthly view. Now I must say it is cool that you can personalize the planner. Like you could put your own family members' birthdays printed right on there anniversaries, things like that. You could print right on there. I think it is kind of funny that they include someone's party, unless you know that that party is happening in enough advance for you to order your planner that way with that party. You're gonna, that one maybe not so much, but birthdays, you definitely could. So the first layout they have in here is the vertical priorities layout. And I was looking to see if, which items I could just put in the monthly view. So like birthdays is something I could just put in the monthly view and not worry about um, trying to make sure I had enough room for those to fit in the weekly. And then I thought about writing all these things in there. And then I actually thought, you know, it'd be easier if I put these on sticky notes. So let me actually grab my sticky notes and I'm going to make up a little tab with each one of the things I want to track on it. And I figure instead of writing on each layout and trying to figure out where everything could fit, if you have them on sticky notes, you can just easily pull those up and move them around. So let me do that. I'm going to write out everything that I want to track. My um, deal breakers, right? If I don't have enough space for these things, then it's not going to work instead of my Franken planner system, which is what's working for me now. So let's now flip to that first vertical priorities vertical layout. Now you see the first one they do for you where they put in different names and things to give you an example. And then the next one's blank. So let me look at the blank one and now see how much we can fit in there. So this one has habit trackers up on the right. And I'm not sure how habit trackers would work um, if you needed to write in amounts of things. And then as far as the daily, I think there'd be space to write some of it, but it's not quite going to make it. And a lot of these boxes are just way too over cramped. So that one's a no. Let's take a look. The next one is the me planner and it's another vertical layout, but it kind of reminds me of the happy planner teacher or student layout where you get those boxes up and down throughout the day. And then you could have different subjects. So I'm thinking, okay, for different subjects, we could have kind of health subject, but even that wasn't going to work. And then our MAE vertical layout, morning, afternoon, evening, but we could label them something different. And that one wasn't really cutting it either. And then we have our hourly view. And some of these things like exercise, you could just write in the time slot that you do the exercise. You could write in what exercise you did. 
and then food you could write that in right in that like if you have lunch at noon you could write right in there what you had for lunch but it still's not quite enough space so that one's a no the next one is the vertical columns and that one the same thing that wasn't gonna work sorry and then we're over at weekly overview so this one's almost like a dashboard view with the happy planner um, but on the right side of the page, it's more like a horizontal look. But then you have all this dashboard section. And you know, this one actually comes pretty close. If we put a couple things on the monthly view, it's pretty good. The daily is still a little full. But I think we're going to count this one as that would work, which actually surprised me. I actually didn't think I could get four planners into any of these layouts. So that weekly overview is definitely an option. Now this one is... Let's see. I could tell that the two-sided days wasn't going to work, so we skipped that one. Now the notes and days. Um, same kind of thing. We could divide these two huge boxes up quite a bit more. Um, but it's basically turning that into that overview layout that was going to work. And then let's see. We have the horizontal priorities. And again, with the habit tracker on the top, it's more of a did you do this, yes or no. And that one, not going to quite have enough space. All right, and then the hourly daily. Now, having an entire page for each day. Actually, this is looking like it's quite doable. And that actually fits everything without even using any of the monthly section. So that hourly daily worked even better than the previous one okay and then we just have the hourly view which is pretty similar um it oh the daily view sorry it's just not daily hourly um so you would need to write in your own times and the boxes aren't divided into as small of pieces so it's not going to work as nicely as that daily hourly spread did for me the next one is the quad lined, but I can tell immediately that these little boxes aren't going to do it for everything I need to track. And then the quad blank is the same thing, just without the lines, so that wouldn't work either. The full week grid, and then we're back to the notes. Okay, so there were two possible layouts that would work with everything that I want to track. So let me just write those in there. It was the weekly overview horizontal layout. Now that layout, I did need to rely on space on the monthly page. And with these plum paper planners, you can add additional sections. Like they do have a fitness section you could add. Um, they have a budget section, things like that. So you can add on sections if you don't want to try to cram everything onto one layout. But I was just curious, could I get four planners that I'm currently using with a happy planner? Could I find a layout that would fit all of those? But I think the one that actually worked the best is going to be that hourly daily. So I'm just going to write those in there. And then thinking about additional sections to add, you know, that would free up a lot of space if I added a fitness, a budget, and a social media section. And then that might actually be a planner piece going the plum paper route. So I just wanted to give you guys a, a feel for all their different layouts. You know, it's a good idea, even if you're thinking of Franken planning with a happy planner, you know, maybe make a list of everything you want to track, put them on sticky notes, and then people, there are available like printable, printable pages of the different layouts that you could print out and then see would dashboard layout work better, would vertical or horizontal layout work better. So you can do this with other planners. It was just nice of plum paper to include this in our swag bags that we got from Go Wild. So again, if you want to see that video, check it out. I do have a giveaway open until this Sunday night. So make sure to check out that giveaway video of a lot of the swag items. And I must say, it would be really nice to have all your birthdays printed right in your planner to have all your sections titled for you with exactly what you want them to say so you don't have to write that in each day. That's a nice little perk. And then let me know what you guys think about me trying to fit my entire Franken planner into a plum paper uh, layout. I do think that that hourly would have been the best bet, that hourly daily. Um, I do have happy planners until the end of the year, so I'm not going to waste money and <laughs> not use those until the end of the year unless something really tempting came along. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.
बाय